Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Kratos is not what you would call a nice guy. He is not the person you call when you are having car trouble or need notes from a class. When you do call Kratos is when you need him to do what he is good at, and that is causing death and destruction to anyone and everyone who gets in his way. Kratos is a mean, tough, and brutal character that is out for revenge and won't stop until he gets bloody satisfaction. From its impressive beginning to its over-the-top ending, God of War can only be described with one word. Epic. Everything from the boss battles to the environments are larger than life. That is why Kratos fits into this game. You need a character like Kratos that is larger than life because the game is larger than life. God of War is essentially a hack and slash, but with a great story, beautiful locations, and amazing gameplay. Despite what I originally thought because of the game's title, you don't play as the God of War, but rather a Spartan captain who is in service to Ares. After he is betrayed by the God, Kratos sets out on the impossible task of killing a God. You. From the opening level where you are on a boat being attacked by the Hydra, you are in for something very different. Kratos is armed with the Blades of Chaos, and man, they couldn't find a better name, because that is what you will be doing with these whip-like blades. These are Kratos' unique weapons, and you will be using them throughout most of the game. The Blades make great use of the game's combat system. God of War has some of the most simplistic combat out there, but also some of the best. The combat is simple because all it is, is combinations of light and heavy attacks. But that is what makes it so satisfying. You will pull off moves that look completely awesome without having to memorize 20 button long combinations. But you will have to become very good at whichever method you decide. The environments are littered with countless enemies and it is up to you to dispose of them in the most brutal ways you can. Everything in this game is grand, including the environments. The game makes you feel like you are doing this destruction under the eyes of the Greek gods. From the Athens level to Pandora's temple, all of them put you in the middle of ancient Greece. The Greek mythology theme works very well in this world they created, just don't use this game to study for any tests. Although, personally, I think they should rewrite Greek myths to include Kratos because while at first he seems like a standard action character, his story is actually deep and very human. The game shows off what is possible with an action game if you put in the work. Once you play it a little, it will become clear how much work went into making it. From the characters in the world they occupy to the combat and gameplay, Everything feels familiar enough to be able to pick up and play, but original enough to be remembered. And this is why it is one of the premier games for the PS2. Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. No! 